Well, Bunny, it is time once again to dive deep into the world of multiple universes and popular music with yet another installment of America's leading bizarre music rant, Mandela Effect Moments in Popular Music. Yes. So for our new Much requested. Much requested. So for our new listeners and for the uninitiated out there, the Mandela Effect is the theory that there are alternate universes out there in the ether, a never-ending multiverse where anything that can happen has happened. And the Mandela Effect suggests that some people didn't originate in this universe, the universe that we're in right now. In fact, some people came from a slightly different universe, and the way you can tell is by tiny details, like when did Nelson Mandela die, or how do you spell the Berenstain Bears, or are Donnie and Marie sisters, or lovers, or both, really? I'm going with both on that one. Because I swear when I was a kid, I thought that they were a couple. <laughs> When I was a kid growing up, I thought they were a couple. They were always together. They were always near each other. They were always holding hands mm -hmm. and talking about how much they cared for each other and singing songs together. I thought for sure that they were together, that they were uh, knocking boots, knocking smiles. <laughs> it is my firm belief that I am one of these wayward souls, one of these wayward sisters, someone who is actually from a different dimension and the proof the proof is in popular American music. Yes, it is. So, so this time around, we will be talking about the band Alice in Chains. Okay. Now, call me crazy. You're crazy. Thank you. I was waiting. I was going to keep waiting. As I, I could tell by the pause. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, uh, now call me crazy. Call me crazy. Okay, you're crazy. But back in my day, if a lead singer of a band died, yeah, the band just broke up. Yeah, that's what happened. Now they just replace the lead singer and keep making music like nothing happened. Screw you, Sublime with Rome. <laughs> No! No! I'm not having any of your crap. I personally then, am going to have to blame Metallica for that. Yeah. yeah. Then they... the surviving members of the Grateful Dead still tour under different names, like Rad Dog. And then, of course, probably the biggest, <clears throat> the biggest example of this is when Kurt Cobain died, he was replaced with David Lee Roth. Yes. And, uh... Now the band still releases music, except instead of Nirvana, they're called the Nirvana Smiles Sunshine Band. <laughs> That's probably the biggest example of this. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact that the lead singer of Alice in Chains, Lane Stanley, died and they replace him and have kept doing albums and they're successful albums, it just really fucking upsets me. But. That is not what we're talking about here, okay? Okay. In the 90s, Alice in Chains, <clears throat> they were huge. They had 16 top 10 songs on the Billboard rock charts in the 1990s. Their music was ubiquitous. It was just everywhere. And probably Alice in Chains, Alice in Chains along with Nine Inch Nails, they were probably the hardest music that you could also hear at the mall. Really? Okay. Yeah. Never, yeah. Yeah. Like no. Like if you really think about it, you you would go to the mall and then you just hear through, while you're at the mall, you'd hear like all the popular music and all and all the music that's popular in the day. And sometimes it would just really get me. Like, wow, look at me. I'm at a major store, and they're playing the Jane's Addiction song, "Been Caught Stealing." <laughs> you would think that at some point in time, someone who is the uh, proprietor of this establishment would say, "Hey." Maybe not play this song. <laughs> That's a song that always confused me. This is so popular. Uh, uh, slide aside, how weird is it <clears throat> that a huge ass hit in the 90s was a song that had the chorus, I want to fuck you like an animal. Yes. 
Like, that was a huge hit. Mm-hmm. How bizarre is that? You still <laughs> hear it on the radio, you know? Uh, that's that, that was a hit song. Like, honestly, if I was, like, 89 years old and that song became a hit, I would be like, yep, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what I'm, it's all those, it's all them video games. Mm-hmm. Nintendo did this. MTV. The MTV music television. <laughs> <laughs> so Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains couldn't do any wrong in the early 90s. Their second album, which was called Dirt, Dirt was released in 1992. It became their highest selling album yet. And from that album, they got five top 30 hit songs. Five. Okay. That's a surprising number. Like, I thought that Alice in Chains maybe had like two or three hits, but they had five just from this one album. That album stayed on the the radio uh, charts for over two years. Which which song is that? <clears throat> well, 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 they had five uh, singles from that album. Yeah. The singles from Dirt, which I will now be singing to you, uh, include the songs Angry Chair. Of course, everybody knows the song Angry Chair. Oh, no, look out for that chair. It looks really upset. <laughs> Watch out. It is really pissed off. That is an angry chair. Angry chair. Angry. It's an angry chair. Angry chair, angry. That played all the time on the radio. <laughs> uh, it, then uh, there's the Alice in Chains song Down in a Hole. Yeah. Oh, well, me and my pappy were going to go down in a hole. That was kind of like a like a like a like a country song. Oh, me and my pappy were going to go down in a hole. That, that was a cute one. Yeah. I, 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 I <clears throat> oh. vaguely remember that one. Yeah. Uh, then there's their hit single, Wood, and that one was really cool. I remember that one. If I asked you nicely, would you let me lick your butthole? <laughs> that, was a, that was a huge one. That changed my life. Yeah. Then there was their song, Them Bones. That one, of course, I remember. Uh, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Now they're the working of the Lord. That one was a, that one was adorable. Yeah. And then their fifth single is called Rooster. Rooster, okay. Rooster. Rooster. Uh and no offense to any veterans out there. This is one of the strangest and stupidest hit songs ever recorded because in nowhere Nowhere in the song does it explain the meaning of the song. I had to Wikipedia this. I looked up the song, and apparently the lead guitarist's dad was in Vietnam, and his nickname was The Rooster. But here's the thing. Uh, They didn't have Wikipedia in 1992, okay? (laughs) They didn't have freaking Wikipedia in 1992. Google wasn't really a thing in 1992. So taken literally, this song is about a farm animal with a machine gun. <laughs> yes. Or. Or. A cock. Or a cock. But, but, but the chorus goes, hey, they've come to snuff the rooster. What is this about? Like a serial killer who's trying to murder penises? I didn't say penises. Oh, okay. Rooster is also considered yeah. cock. We, or, or you want to take it another step further, you can go that route with penises and then cock, dick, Richard. Maybe his, maybe they're talking about some guy named Richard. Maybe they've come to snuff the former president. Possibly. They, they've come to snuff the Richard? Yeah, they've come to, to <laughs> snuff the Richard. Oh. Uh. The, the the way that okay, I you know what you said they didn't have Wikipedia or Google or whatever in ninety two. Okay, first of all, I'm pretty sure they had Ask Jeeves. Um, and second of all, <laughs> second of all, you act like you act like people were all about deciphering lyrics before. Like 
hello, did you automatically back in the 60s go and like fucking decipher all those lyrics? No, you didn't. You didn't question it. You took it for what it was. You interpreted it the way you wanted to. Okay, I'm glad that you mentioned that. I'm glad that you mentioned that. Like, did you think of all the Pink Floyd songs? Yeah. Like, that would drive yeah. somebody crazy if they had to know what it meant. Yeah, you didn't pay attention to the lyrics or what they meant. You just heard it and you interpreted it your own way. So, so, so. But it really uh, wasn't hard to figure out if you like pina coladas. And getting caught in the... It's pretty yes. obvious. So everyone heard... It's not obvious because how many people absolutely loved that song and thought it was a love song? I, I, I and think, it wasn't I think a love we, song. I think we all knew that they were fucking around on each other. No, with a lot each of other. people didn't. But, like, uh, Emerald was blown away when I said, listen to the lyrics. Really pay attention to the lyrics of the song because, oh my God, I love this song. I was like, all right, really listen to the lyrics though. And then Emerald was like, oh, oh, my God. I was like, yeah, it's about a cheating asshole. Yep. Yeah. It's like uh, it's my like- my co-teacher loved the song Me and Mrs. Jones. <laughs> Hello, Natalie. It's, it's about people cheating. She went, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we started singing it like uh, Mike Tyson. And it's, and it's, yeah, because you need Me and Mrs. Me, Me and, and Mrs. 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 Jones. Mrs. Jones, <laughs> Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. So, we yeah. make fun of so, so people, so people, people don't know what get lyrics. Back to your, get back to your notes, Steve. Yeah, people don't know what lyrics mean, and people. Do you hear her? Yeah. Uh, Natasha, Natasha, and I are acting out a a, a, a zombie film right now. In yeah. the sense that we, her and I are in the bedroom, and the baby is just banging on the door, screaming. I'm pretty sure I just heard her yell, "Brains!" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she is. She's trying so hard to to get in here. So, so, so I feel that this Alice in Chains song called Rooster yes. is a prime example of mass hysteria. Okay. Like, like very few people actually, a very small amount of people got seizures from a Pokemon episode. But then I, I, it, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the data on that at all. But then, but then every, but then suddenly, like thousands of people claim to have gotten seizures from an episode of Pokemon, and and it, it, that was all bullshit. And so everyone heard a popular rock song with the with a chorus that goes like this: "Here they come to snuff the rooster." Mm-hmm. Here they come, the rooster. You know he ain't gonna die. No, no, no. You know he ain't gonna die. Ah, oh, yeah. The rooster. And everyone heard this song and just went, oh, yeah, no, I totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> the, that's cool. Yeah. It's mass hysteria because it, it, no one knew that it that the rooster was about the lead guitarist dad, but everyone wanted to act like they were cool and hip and with it. So here's the new song by hit makers, Alice in Chains. It's called the rooster. Now the accurate response is to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. But no, America all decided to collectively pretend to get it. Yes. The chorus again. Yeah. Yeah. They come to snuff the rooster. I'm sorry, but that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. it's the wrong universe, that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here comes the rooster. Now, this is the Mandela effect because the song is ridiculous, and it's ridiculous that everyone collectively pretends to understand the rooster. Yes. It upsets me. <laughs> Deeply upsets me. The, the rooster starts playing on the radio and everyone's like, yeah, the rooster. Oh, I love the rooster. Yeah, man, the rooster. I never heard of it. If you heard the song, I never then, did. Then, you would, 
probably realize it because again all of these alice in chain songs were just ubiquitous back then they played all the time Not at my house. everywhere everywhere played all the time it is four o'clock now time to listen to the rooster <laughs> and then they would play it on the speakers as you got whipped So that's the Mandela effect this week. It upsets me. The song came on the radio yes. last week. And I'm just hearing people listen to the song, looking at people listening to the song, and they're like nodding their heads, and they're like, yeah. And I'm like, no, that's the wrong response. <laughs> no idea what this song is. We're all wrong. <laughs> Boo. 